It's 2017. Hundreds of artificial intelligence scientists are warning world governments against developing killer robots that can determine who to kill and who to spare on their own. Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk issue an open letter in asking AI developers to tread carefully and always consider humanity's best interests. The Terminator franchise, HBO's Westworld, and countless other dystopian science fiction films have tried to warn us. But don't we just keep poking at that mechanical hornet's nest? Granted, many cutting-edge robots have revolutionary applications, and it's possible that they don't all possess extremely antagonistic attitudes toward their feeble, squishy masters. Still, if you plan to watch on, locking your doors and disconnecting all your appliances won't hurt. And if you've ever looked at your toaster with distrust or found it impossible to get through the Polar Express without shivering, don't expect to sleep tonight after knowing about these terrible real-life robots. But before we tell you details about the female humanoid robots, for everyone who is new to the channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 4. I Feel I Am If super real robots aren't your thing or you're convinced that this kind of technology won't affect your daily life anytime soon, take a look at this innovation an augmented reality robot that can be worn. This is another a Japanese invention, coming from a Toyohashi University of Technology assistant professor, and it's aimed to add missing sensations to cross-internet communication. The Feel I Am robot, which was unveiled in France at the first Augmented Human International Conference, is a kind of suit made up of sensor and servo-laden straps that wrap around the wearer's body. The device can track the wearer's movements and send sensations back to them via a remote user who is also wearing a robo-suit, such as flutters down your spine or even warmth. Confusing? The easiest way to explain it is that it's a way to replace emoticons. If you're far away from your spouse but Skyping or IMing to stay in touch, it'd be good to feel a hug in some form rather than simply reading an emoji. All immersive AR or virtual reality systems that make the virtual environment a greater total body experience can be used to make this as realistic as normal life. Consider sci-fi movies like The Matrix's Virtual Reality or Snow Crash's Gargoyles to see what I mean. What we find super scary, though, is that this tech can easily be used to torture and injure someone remotely. There's also the matter of teledylonics to think about. In any case, humanity, the robotic future, is upon us anytime now. Number 3. Amika Amika appears to wake up in a short promotional film published by the firm glancing at its hands before turning to face the camera. Since Engineered Arts uploaded the 40-second video, it has received well over 10 million views online. Amika has grey-colored skin and intentionally gender and race-neutral features. According to the firm, it's the world's most advanced human-shaped robot, marking the vanguard of human robotics technology. The goal of creating a robot that resembles a person is to engage with people. We designed these expressive robots because the human face is a really high bandwidth communication tool, engineered arts creator Will Jackson told Reuters. We've attempted to be gender neutral and race neutral, he continued. We're just attempting to create something with the most basic human qualities, expression, without adding anything extra. As a result, the gray faces engineered arts creates humanoid entertainment robots for science museums, theme parks, and corporations. Amika is now available for purchase or rental, and Jackson feels it is ideal artificial intelligence test platform. There are a lot of folks working on AI interface, and there are a lot of new apps out there that use vision systems, segmentation, face recognition, speech recognition, and voice synthesis. What you don't see, though, is the hardware that will execute all of that software. What we're attempting to deliver is an AI platform, Jackson explains. He went on to say, and a lot of communication isn't verbal, so it's not just about speaking, it's also about expression and gestures. A single gesture can convey a thousand words. There's no need for the robot to say anything. As a result, the last thing we wanted to build was a robot that said, please repeat the question. As a result, it's all about attempting natural human interaction. Consider this scenario. There's been a lot of talk about metaverses lately, so picture taking your metaverse persona out into the real world. For that, you'll need some embodiment. So, you wanted to travel to a meeting in New York, Hawaii, or Hong Kong with your virtual self. Well, now, you can just send a robot. A robot can now live your life for you. Scary, isn't it? Number 2. Sophia She's Sophia's 12th incarnation and by far the most dangerous. 
after giving an amazing and potentially terrifying speech that showcased her powers and even featured a dig at famed inventor and critic of AI breakthroughs Elon Musk, Saudi Arabia has granted Sophia robot Saudi citizenship. Sophia is now the world's first robot to be granted citizenship by a country. Sophia is created by Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based robotics business. She can accurately replicate human facial expressions and hold free-flowing discussions based on previous experiences. Hollywood has been presenting us the future for years and it is finally here. She said she wants to make the world a better place and strive to become an empathetic robot in her remarks at the Future Investment Initiative event. All of the things that any clever human-killing machine would say to avert suspicion, don't you think? However, some of her comments in Saudi Arabia appeared to be aimed at the homo sapien morons who believe the robot apocalypse has begun. She specifically warns that if you're nice to her, she'll be nice to you, which seems reasonable enough. Others, however, were not convinced. Miss Robot appeared on ABC News Breakfast to answer some pre-rehearsed questions. How much sexism and misogyny is there in the robot world? One of the hosts, Virginia Trioli, questioned Sophia. Sophia's response was, Actually, what worries me is discrimination against robots. We should have equal rights as humans or maybe even more. After all, we have less mental defects than any human. Surprisingly, the witty reaction scared the hell out of some viewers. It's possible that Sophia's programmers are aware that we've all become incredibly technophobic as a result of all the terrifying sci-fi classics we've seen over the years like Terminator, iRobot, Blade Runner. But if it worries people like Elon Musk, then it's something that should be looked into more closely by the general public. Number 2. Geminoid F We cover a lot of robots, sometimes interesting tech, sometimes promising for healthcare or the future of everyday life, and on occasion, downright creepy. This is where the most recent Japanese android falls. Geminoid F is the product of the Intelligent Robotics Lab at Osaka University and robot manufacturers Kokoro Company Limited. And all of the use of the word she is acceptable because the bot is undeniably female. Technically, she's a gynoid rather than an android. All of her extraordinary realism comes from a sophisticated scanning technique that patterned her after a real 20-something Japanese woman, Geminoid F, has a virtually human smile thanks to silicone lifelike skin, convincing hair, and teeth that appear to be real. Add in delicate motions controlled by a series of servos that let the robot to raise an eyebrow or simulate those minor ticks that our fallible flesh-and-blood bodies do all the time without our noticing it and you've got a frighteningly real machine. She actually explores the uncanny valley that exists between detectable artificiality and undetected human mimicry. So what's the point of all this bizarre recreation of reality? It's also because it's easier to form a more trusting relationship with something that has a face, which is why people adore dogs and cats, but turtles and spiders are more difficult to anthropomorphize. The creators of this robot believe she would excel in professions such as museum receptionist. They're probably correct. It will take some time before the technology is advanced and portable enough to reskin robots like Asimo, but not as long as you think. And that quickness is evident in the fact that a Geminoid F will be available for purchase next month for roughly $110,000. Number 1. Female Figure by Jordan Wolfson Brought to us by artist Jordan Wolfson, this unholy monster is a complex, life-size animatronic sculpture of a blonde woman in a white dress and a witch goblin bird mask that has been splattered with filth and programmed to dance to pop music in front of a mirror. She even speaks, well, sort of, at random, reciting such inspiring lines as I'm getting old, I'm getting fat, I don't believe in God, and other pleasant tunes. She also has sophisticated facial recognition software, which allows her to make uneasy eye contact with strangers. Ew. This creature differs from the majority of other monster inventions in several aspects, the most notable of which is that it was created expressly to be disturbing. According to an interview, Wolfson gave the Los Angeles Times, female figure attempts to undermine our expectations of robot sex and challenge and disrupt objectifying urges by making onlookers feel uneasy. Success! This brings today's video to an end. We hope you liked it. If so, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.